A major event is fast approaching here in the United States of America, and many citizens are not prepared for just what may be unleashed in the very near future. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the possibility of a civil war. In fact, many media outlets, as I'm going to prove to you in a moment, think that a civil war is very, very near. In fact, two thirds of the people in America believe that one is coming and it's coming quickly. But before I get into the report, I want to give a quick shout out to my partner at noblegoldinvestments.com. If you do not have a Roth IRA backed by gold or precious metals, then I want to encourage you to please get one today. Do not put it off as the economy is not in a stable place. So please call them at the phone number listed below and look at their website on noblegoldinvestments.com. Tell them Lisa sent you. All right, on with the broadcast. As I stated a moment ago, many in the media, as well as political offices, believe we are heading into a civil war. In fact, what I'm about to show you is about 14 to 15 separate articles just in this past 30 some odd days, proving that the talk of civil war has not only increased, but intensified. Take a look at this first article, InfoWars, published October 31st. Democrats triggering violent civil war. Republican leaders warn the liberal coup against Trump is pushing America to the brink of civil war. Intelligence.com, October 24th. How close is the US to a civil war? About two thirds of the way, Americans say. Reuters.com, October 29th. Trump tweet, political divisions fuel rising discourse about new U.S. civil war. RT.com, October 25th. Liberals outing Trump donors as racist could lead America to a full-blown civil war. Independent.co.uk, October 24th. Trump impeachment, MLB umpire threatens to buy AR-15 for civil war just before the World Series game. Breitbart.com, October 23rd, Gomert on impeachment, Democrat coup will push this country into a civil war. Naturalnews.com, October 20th, alert Antifa puppet masters to engineer patriot slaughter of leftists to spark violent uprising against conservatives. Zerohedge.com, October 7th, Kussler, the left seems to be opting for civil war. Another by Zero Hedge published September 29th. Limbaugh, we're in the middle of a cold civil war. TheTrumpet.com, October 7th. Would an impeachment of President Trump spark civil war? NewYorkPost.com, October 31st. Democrats have now declared political civil war. WashingtonExaminer.com, October 23rd. Battleground, 7 in 10 say U.S. on the edge of civil war. CDN.com, September 30th. America beware. Pelosi and Schiff just may get the civil war they are fighting for. That's an awful lot of talk about civil war. And those are articles just since September 29th of this year. So a little over 30 days. You see, the truth is, I believe the Democrats and the mainstream media want a civil war. If not, then why are they doing all kinds of chaotic things? To mention a few, a hoax impeachment, where it's all voted on and impeachment was voted on on the president based solely off one party, the Democrats. Not to mention the, the kicking out of the Republicans and not allowing the pub Republicans in the process at all. In fact, this whole thing is a sham and was done fraudulently. But let's take it one step further. How about the fact that the mainstream media and the Democrats are encouraging all their people to call any Trump supporter or conservative or Christian a racist? If you are against illegal immigration, you've become a racist. If you stand against abortion, you've become a racist. It doesn't matter what political issue it is, in some way, shape, or form, the Democrats have now labeled every Republican, for the most part, or Trump supporter, a racist. But that's not all. They don't stop there. In fact, they're even ignoring Durham and uh, AG Barr's investigation, just kind of throwing it under the rug and focusing on impeachment. Here's our distraction, not to mention uh, how they're attempting to overthrow the president of the United States of America. And without any of our blessing, everything they doing that they're doing seems to hint at civil war. How long will this charade be allowed to go on? How long will the American people put up with it? How long before the liberals hit their breaking point? What happens if they impeach the president? And what happens if they don't? Well, I guess that's all on the table and for you to decide. 
Anyhow, please don't forget to check out my brand new platform at restrictedrepublic.com. I want to encourage you, the way things are headed with censorship, to please make sure you go over there and subscribe. Use the code TRUTH to get a discount on the monthly membership. But today is the day that you sign up because we don't know how much longer we're going to be allowed on platforms such as Facebook and Google and YouTube. Anyhow, I love you guys, and uh, I'd love to get your thoughts, comments, and concerns. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.